And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan, once again bringing you my thoughts and review from our Monday night's episode of Arrow Season 7, Episode 12. Now this episode, very, very different from what we normally get. Normally we'll get a flashback here or there or something that has to do maybe with the future flash forwards. But this episode we got more of a kind of a documentary kind of episode where a news crew comes in and started, you know, following Oliver in his day-to-day -day operations as the Green Arrow and talking, you know, giving us some old footage from him as the vigilante. So that way the, you know, the people who are actually watching they can understand what are, what vigilantism means in that city. So we got some old footage of Thea, season one footage of Diggle, you know, old footage of Sarah, Barry, you know, back in maybe season when he found first found out about Oliver as the Green Arrow, even though he already knew because he's the Flash. So we got to see some of that. You know, Pepper in with also a couple of moments of they also being hunted during, you know, when they're not being filmed. They're being hunted by this, um, I guess, vigilante hunter, if you will. Where this guy or, or girl, whoever it is, is, you know, dressed in all military outfit. And obviously he gets his technology from Wayne Enterprises because now Batwoman exists. So now why not mention Batman every five minutes? Okay, so we got to see that. We got to see the team not only literally come back together. Because remember, the team is still considered, you know, are not allowed to use their vigilantism anymore because it's still outlawed. Except for Oliver. Since he is with the police. So they decide to, you know, why not break the law for one night. Try to figure out who the heck this guy is. Cameras are still rolling because they're still doing the whole documentary thing. The mayor, she, you know, she's not, you know, having it anymore. She doesn't really want Oliver even with the police. But she's got no choice. But he's working with the police. So she has to swallow her pride. Kind of. But everybody else, not so much. And then we got some moments with Felicity being yelled at by her own stepson which is kind of heartbreaking but okay because William got mad at her about whole you know dumping him at boarding school and you know him not being home for the holidays it was a pretty interesting little scene there but the whole episode itself was just nothing but documentary footage and them trying to fight, figure out who the heck this vigilante hunter is or whoever it is and like I said it was just an okay episode but um yeah, and then, of course, we got the ending of the little teaser of the Flash Forwards. Because it will be, I think, not this episode coming up, but next week's episode is going to be nothing but Flash Forwards. So, we finally get to find out who Amika is. I mean, not Amika. Uh, the future blonde girl that we met in the future. Whoever she is. If she's Oliver and Felicity's kid. We don't know. We saw them entering um, the Arrow Cave with Connor Hawk. So, we got to see that. John Diggle's son, so we got to see that, so that was the ending of the episode, so like I said, pretty interesting episode, but um, I, I like I said, we just need more information, but uh, leave me a comment below, let me know what you guys thought about it, and stay tuned for more, and thank you very much, and have a good day.